Hi guys, it's Erin for Red Carpet Report at the screening of An American Werewolf in London for Universal's Legacy of Horror. All right, guys, we are here with the star of American Werewolf in London, David. David, oh my gosh, how does it feel, and we were talking a little bit before this, to still be hailed 30 years later for your role in this film? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm as surprised as anybody. Um, I never thought in 1981 that um, I'd take a little trip over to London and uh, do this movie that's a 10-week shoot, right. go through a few makeup changes, and uh, be talking about it in 2012. Did you think while you're filming it, though, this is going to be really good? Well, you know, you, you obviously, you hope for the best. Um, one of the fun things was being over there in London and being away from you know, the studios and the pressure of feeling like you're in a big feature film. That didn't have any of that pressure. So it was just us making a little movie. And with John Landis, who's a very funny guy, right. uh, it just, there was no pressure. So. I mean, over, over 30 years, you've seen people watch this movie for the first time. When you come to screenings like this, is, is that always an exciting part? It, it, well, it is. I, you know, I try to you know, meet people who haven't seen the film before, or certainly on a big screen, because I think that makes a huge difference. But what I'm finding is um, horror fans bring their kids, and their kids have seen this movie, and the kids, you know, are start just younger and younger going, but it's rated R. They go, ah, oh, it didn't even scare me, you know. Yeah. Sure it didn't. Yeah, right. Um, so as far as the horror industry goes, you've seen it develop and change since this movie. Do you think it's gotten better, worse? How do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, the horror genre will always be around. Um, I think that um, you know it really comes down to story. Story, story, story is the important thing. Um, and that was one of the fun things about American Werewolf was it was a really good story. Obviously, effects, makeup has, has changed a whole lot since when I was being tortured. But <laughs> um, but that scene is so infamous. I mean, you could still watch it today. And, and I watched it earlier this afternoon. And I was just like, even I caught myself like frowning and like looking disturbed. So, I mean, it was very believable. And, and you were just in that pain, you know, in that moment. Well, that was one of the things, you know, we had to decide, you know, what is this experience like? It's going to be a conscious experience. I'm not going to be like out and wake up and be a werewolf. You know, it's going right. to be ongoing. And what's it going to feel like? It's not going to be a pleasurable thing. So it's going to be painful. Yeah. Make it hurt. And uh, that was the decision that, uh, well, I'd like to take credit for it, but I'll give that to John Landis. Yeah, well, speaking of pain, you like to talk about that uh, makeup day, the time in the makeup chair, eight, nine, ten hours a day. Um, I know that was painful waiting and that whole process. What was it like taking it off? Well, you know, you think it's like, okay, let's just get this off. And it's like, no, it was a really, you know, very meticulous way of taking off the makeup because we might be using it again. Uh, of course. And so, you know, and with Rick Baker, again, this was what, what really his, his, one of his film debuts, although he had done, sm you know, uh, s smaller films. But this was something where, you know, I was in his hands, and as long as it took to put it on, it took a couple hours to take it off each day, too. Now, it's, it's almost Halloween time, and I want to know, are you dressing up for Halloween? Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I think I could just go around like this, and maybe people wouldn't necessarily recognize me as a werewolf. But what I used to do is just put the teeth in, you oh, know. Yeah. And that was, the t and then, or you see people, of course, with, with lenses, you know, right. and th that's all you need. Right. Well, you know, I'm glad it's not a full moon tonight because we would all be in trouble right now. That's true. You know, yeah. you're safe. So. Yeah. Thank goodness. Although it would have made for a fantastic viral YouTube video, but. I know it would, but no, I think um, I'll be a vegetarian tonight. All right. Fantastic. It was so great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks so, so much. much. Enjoy your time tonight.